stories, you're thinking poetry, you're thinking novels, you're thinking everything. But the journal has to be right. And once you get that journal, you will well out of the way. And then it slid, you know, kind of schemingly down the wall. And everybody in my family reacted differently. My sister's like, where'd we get in the dog pound? Can we take it back? <laughs> my little brother's like, I love that. Do it again. Right in the center of your writing. You're not over here as a young person, marginalized over here, like, oh, I wish I could write. No. As a journal keeper and as a young writer, you're right in the middle of it. And that's where you want to be sideways like this. Because it's got the biggest ass I have ever seen on a child. Right? It starts at his knee, comes all the way up the side, all the way out, and he's got a metal brace from his wrist to his knee. He's like a piece of swinging wrist. <laughs> Just take a little bit every day and just tackle that story, tackle that story. About two weeks into it, now you've captured this good, juicy first draft in your journal. And it's a mess, but you're not worried. So out there, there's a book called The Boys' War that was seven years. From the time I had the idea, did research, and did the writing, and I had to collect all the images for the books, it was seven years. Um, that book did fine, but I've done books where I've worked the same amount, I have the same book, little bits, and understand what was going on, and really love it. So I started to read a little bit more. So I would read like, I don't know, two or three books a year. That was about it. Now I read about 500 books a year, because I just love, I just sit and read. Um, Thank <laughs> you. 